Release the Kraken! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at powerful monsters from myth, legend, and mythopoesis. Cthulhu! Banish them to a dark oblivion, please! Number 10. Vampires You might not consider vampires in the same vein as other ancient mythological powerhouses, but these relatively modern creatures of the night pack quite the punch. Taking on a vampire at night is a mission for morons and fools. Which are you? They can transform into bats and fly, hypnotize others, and fend off adversaries with insane amounts of strength. Oh, and then there's of course the sucking your blood. I would take no refusal. Sure, there may be a decent amount of ways to counter vampires, but these nocturnal animals know how to work around their weaknesses. Plus, the most infamous vampire of them all, Dracula, is still terrifying us all today. <laughs> you do not want these undead creatures chasing after you. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! Number 9. Medusa Medusa is a creature who will stop you right in your tracks, but that's hardly a good thing. Anyone who looks at this dangerous gorgon is quickly turned into stone. Medusa is quite the looker, but anyone who has snakes for hair is bound to turn heads. Medusa has turned countless men and women into stone. It's an ability so iconic and so powerful it works even from beyond the grave. When Medusa was finally slain by Perseus, he used her decapitated head as a weapon to change enemies into stone. Now that's one way to get ahead. Number 8. Apep Apophis was greatly feared for his ferocity, his power, and the threat of his uprising. This monstrous serpent has some serious pep in his step. Jokes aside, Apep is one of the biggest final bosses of Egyptian mythology. Considered to be the embodiment of pure chaos, his sole mission is to combat the sun god Ra. Whereas Ra could be seen representing all that is light, you could argue Apep is all that represents complete darkness. Apep and Ra have fought many times, and while Ra is usually the victor, Apep never truly goes away. Ra and his followers would slash through the snake's underbelly and pass him undeterred. This is a serpent so unhinged that he's even tried devouring the sun. We don't recommend including the sun as part of your balanced breakfast. But if Apep's hungry, us mere mortals sure as heck aren't going to be able to stop him. His sheer power and determination to defeat Ra greatly illustrated the Egyptians' fear of a world plunged in darkness and anarchy. Number 7. The Chupacabra Pablo! Looks like someone sucked the blood out of our goats! Who the hell would do that? The Chupacabra is one scary beast. Originating from Latin American folklore, although some claim it really originated in a 1995 movie, the chupacabra is a strong mythical creature known for feasting on livestock. Ducks, rabbits, chickens, pigs, and yes, goats, were all said to have been killed by a grotesque creature. Its name even translates to goat sucker. Chupacabras are fit with blood red eyes, incredibly sharp fangs, and can chase down prey at frighteningly fast speeds. Chupacabras are truly some of the most vicious monsters that won't ever hold back. Not only are they rabid hunters, they're also kind of like vampires too since they're known to suck the blood of the livestock they consume. Great, because they just couldn't be more scary already. I'm a chupacabra, legendary creature, tiny ass goat, you know I'm gonna eat ya. Number 6. Werewolves Who doesn't love a good werewolf? Yeah, they'll probably shred you to bits if you ever get too close, but they just look so cool. <laughs> Werewolves are ingrained in pop culture today, but they also date back to many myths, including those from ancient Greece. When King Lycaon tried feeding slain kids to Zeus, it went about as well as you would expect. Zeus turned him and his entire lineage into what we now know as werewolves. Werewolves are not only strong, but they're also fast, agile, and can tear through practically anything with their claws and teeth. There's something going on out there. While they can be put down by silver bullets, you better hope you have a whole bunch of them. Because these beasts do not go down without a fight. 
Number five, Surtur. My time has come. When my crown is reunited with the eternal flame, I shall be restored to my full might. With Surtur, you kind of know what you're going to get. You can't look at this demonic creature made of pure fire and think he's anything less than a juggernaut. You destroyed everything, everyone, but not me. Fight now! According to Norse mythology, Surtur is a fire giant who guards the realm of Muspelheim. Besides looking very intimidating, he also has a massive sword made out of fire that only makes him more formidable. Surtur also serves a purpose. Just like the monstrous wolf Fenrir, Surtur is said to play a pivotal part in Ragnarok, a major cataclysmic event that will destroy the world. That's kind of really depressing, actually. I cannot die, not until I fulfill my destiny and lay waste to your home. But hey, at least we know Surtur's definitely not a chump. Number four, the Kraken. There's no use, you run aground. No, beneath us. Foul breath. If you had any plans for sailing the high seas, you might want to reconsider after you learn about this monster. The Kraken is a massive squid-like creature that wreaks pure havoc on any that venture out into the ocean. With its size and strength, it can toss around the heaviest of ships like they're small toys. The Kraken has also had plenty of life in pop culture, with many films providing new takes on the mythos. What the? <laughs> Regardless of whatever changes the lore may go through, the Kraken at its most basic form is nothing short of a nightmare that'll make you seasick. Number three, the Fachen. Space scarred with one dead eye. I drew my sword. And... Whoosh! One swipe, his sword shattered. Half the body, twice the fright. That pretty much sums up the Fachen. A famous monster of Scottish legend, the Fachen is said to only have a single leg, arm, and eye. Despite having a severely limited set of body parts, the Fachen is deceptively strong. It often carries a heavy club, which it uses to attack foes. Oh. <laughs> And while it might not be a power, its haunting appearance that can no doubt terrify anyone is undeniably a strength for this monster. This is a mythical beast that truly makes the most out of what it has to work with. And honestly, we kind of have to respect that. There will be consequences! I'll take my chances. Sword sharpened now! <sighs> Number 2. Cthulhu Maybe no monster has persisted in the way that Cthulhu has. The dark god Cthulhu continues his rampage of destruction and terror, and there seems to be no hope for man. This cosmic horror from the mind of author H.P. Lovecraft has remained an incredibly popular horror icon, and we can see why. Cthulhu is not just powerful. He's so powerful that just trying to think about it for too long can drive you mad. But they serve as symbols of unknowable cosmic forces. He's a horror we mere humans just can't quite comprehend. This monster has gained a following unlike any other we've seen. Cthulhu isn't just some scary tentacle monster. He is an eldritch being with a chokehold on the universe. They lie awake in the dark, ever watching, hidden under the Earth's crust and beneath the ocean's depths, and can still be contacted. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Typhon Many of the most famous monsters of Greek mythology were born from Typhon and Echidna. In Greek mythology, Typhon is considered the father of all monsters. That means everyone from the Gorgon Medusa to the snake monster Hydra can trace their lineage back to him. And Typhon is powerful too in his own right. He's half human, half serpent, and all nightmares. Was a primordial giant, born of Gaia, described as having a hundred vicious heads that spat fire and venom. Besides being scary, if you needed an indicator of just how influential he is, typhoons are even named directly after him. If this system moves south, we could see a wind-driven storm surge that could threaten the entire eastern seaboard. While there are countless amounts of powerful monsters, many of them simply wouldn't be here if it weren't for Typhon. The spawn of Typhon and Echidna's union reigns supreme among the monsters of mythology. Well, Typhon and his wife Echidna. He must get a lot of gifts on Father's Day. 
Is there a mythological monster we missed? Flex their strengths down in the comments. This is my crown, the source of my power. Oh, that's a crown. I thought it was a big eyebrow. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.